Hi there. Welcome to our new video on the Happy and Healthy channel. Ever wondered how the food you eat affects your brain? If you're trying to find ways to enhance brain health, during this video I'll explain to you the connection between your brain and your digestive system, and I will show you the most effective foods and nutriments which will boost your brain power here and improve memory. Every aspect of our lives is controlled by our brain. Our thoughts, movements, breathing, heartbeat, senses and more. And like everything else in our bodies, the brain requires energy in foods we eat. By paying attention to what we eat, we're able to control how good our brains work, physically, intellectually, and emotionally. You may have witnessed the short-term effects of food on your brain. A sugar rush after an excessive amount of sweet or a mental mist from hunger. But what we eat also affects us within the future. Starting within the childhood and continuing into the old age, our diets don't just shape our bodies, but our brains furthermore. Poor diets cause a bunch of medical issues. Obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. But diet also influences the brain and might increase the danger for mental disorders and neurodegenerative diseases. Researchers are uncovering the main points of how the foods we consume affect our cravings, our moods, and even our memories. Although there aren't any miracle brain foods that may completely protect against age-related disorders like Alzheimer's or dementia, and there are many other medical conditions that may affect the brain. What you eat and don't eat can make a difference when it involves brain health and performance. Following a healthy diet and lifestyle can provide the nutrients and conditions required for the brain to figure to the most effective of its ability. Alright, let's see how the food you eat affects your brain. But before, don't forget to like and comment down below and hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos. It has been suspected for too long that the relative lack of specific nutrients can affect cognitive processes and emotions. Newly described influences of diet on neuronal function and synaptic plasticity have revealed a number of the vital mechanisms that are responsible for the action of diet on brain health and mental function. Several gut hormones which will enter the brain, or that are produced within the brain itself, influence cognitive ability. Additionally, well-established regulators of synaptic plasticity, like brain-derived neurotrophic factor, can function as metabolic modulators, responding to peripheral signals like food intake. Understanding the molecular basis of the results of food on cognition will help us to determine how best to control diet so as to extend the resistance of neurons to insults and promote mental fitness. BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It's a neurotrophin, a growth factor, that's a protein that plays a significant role in brain health and adaptability of the central systema nervosum. BDNF acts sort of a fertilizer for the brain. It helps brain cells grow during early development, moreover is supporting adult neurogenesis, which is that the growth of new brain cells in adulthood. BDNF also maintains brain circuits through neural plasticity. Lack of this neurotrophins leads to impaired learning, depression, anxiety, moreover as many other neurological conditions including epilepsy, Alzheimer's, obsessive-compulsive disorder and eating disorders. Since 1995 we also know that BDNF is connected to weight loss. A study showed that brain infusion of BDNF induces weight loss in rats through appetite suppression. Another study showed that BDNF could modify circuits important to eating behavior and energy expenditure. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that helps regulate sleep and appetite, mediate moods, and inhibit pain. Since about 95% of your serotonin is produced in your gastrointestinal tract, and your gastrointestinal tract is lined with 100 million nerve cells, or neurons, it is smart that the inner workings of your systema alimentarium don't just facilitate your digest food, but also guide your emotions. What's more, the function of those neurons and also the production of neurotransmitters like serotonin is very influenced by the billions of good bacteria that form up your intestinal microbiome. These bacteria play a vital role in your health. They protect the liner of your intestines and ensure they supply a robust barrier against toxins and bad bacteria. They limit inflammation. They improve how well you absorb nutrients from your food and that they activate neural pathways that travel directly between the gut and the brain. Studies have compared traditional diets, just like the Mediterranean diet and also the traditional Japanese diet, to a typical Western diet, and have shown that the chance of depression is 25% to 35% lower in those that eat a traditional diet. 
Scientists account for this difference because these traditional diets tend to be high in vegetables, fruits, unprocessed grains, and fish and seafood, and to contain only modest amounts of lean meats and dairy. They're also void of processed and refined foods and sugars, which are staples of the Western dietary pattern. Additionally, many of those unprocessed foods are fermented and so act as natural probiotics. Although food has classically been perceived as a means to supply energy and artifact to the body, its ability to prevent and protect against diseases is setting out to be recognized. Specifically, research over the past five years has provided exciting evidence for the influence of dietary factors on specific molecular systems and mechanisms that maintain mental function. For example, a diet that's rich in omega-3 fatty acids is garnering appreciation for supporting cognitive processes in humans and upregulating genes that are important for maintaining synaptic function and plasticity in rodents. In turn, diets that are high in saturated fat are getting notorious for reducing molecular substrates that support cognitive processing and increasing the chance of neurological dysfunction in both humans and animals. There are many nutrients known to increase BDNF levels. And these nutrients can be found in foods that I will show you in a minute. Among the nutrients that have benefits for the brain is resveratrol. It is a polyphenol known for properties of anti-aging and widely used in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. Studies suggest that resveratrol has neuroprotective effects on the body by supplying higher levels of BDNF. This nutrient may also be taken as a supplement, but people should take care, especially if they're using non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and blood thinners, because resveratrol supplementation may increase the bleeding when these other drugs are taken together. It is best taken through food sources which I will tell you in a moment. Now the other nutrient is omega-3 fatty acids. This is an essential fat which has many functions throughout our bodies, some which include neuroprotective effects on the brain, by normalizing as well as increasing BDNF levels and reducing oxidative damage in the brain. Omega-3 fatty acids also increase BDNF synthesis and signaling between the neurons, as well as synaptic plasticity. Also it improves the cognitive decline in the elderly. Moreover, it is a basis for treatment in patients with mood disorders. Omega-3 fatty acids have a big role in the improvement of cognition and traumatic brain injury in rodents and the amelioration of cognitive decay in a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease. All right. Now, let's talk about the foods that contain those nutrients. Fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D and iron. Those three are so important for preserving cognition in the elderly and normalize cognitive function in young women. Berries are a fabulous way to introduce resveratrol into your diet. It is effortless to start consuming these berries, whether through oatmeal porridge or as part of a fruit salad. Curcumin or turmeric is a root rich in the compound that has almost endless lists of health benefits. It has been proved that curcumin has a big role in the amelioration of cognitive decay in a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease and the amelioration of cognitive decay in traumatic brain injury in rodents. Walnuts, a very healthy snack packed full of omega-3 fatty acids. We come and consume these nuts together with dried fruits maybe raisins or even other nuts, it's a favorite go-to snack when you're on the run, so eat up each. Walnut is a very rich source of the omega-3 fatty acids, as well as having fiber and many other nutrients, along which support digestive function and brain health. Chia seeds are very rich in the essential omega-3 fats, which increased levels, as well as being an integral part of cell membranes throughout our entire bodies. These tiny seeds also contain other fatty acids, including omega-6 and omega-9 fatty acids, and perfect proportion between them and the omega-3 fats, which is very rare in our diet these days. Peanuts offer us many tremendous benefits when it comes to providing resveratrol. Peanuts, as well as peanut butter, contain high quantities of this antioxidant, and they are also rich in protein, fiber, vitamin E, magnesium and the B vitamins B1, B3, B9, and as well as iron. Flax seeds, which may be small, but they are large in nutritional value, 
Not only they are a good source of omega-3 fats, but also are rich in protein, fiber, magnesium, and vitamin B1. The 100 grams serving of dark chocolate also contains pretty high levels of resveratrol. Moreover, it is rich in flavanol, which is an antioxidant that promotes blood vessel health, which improves memory and brain function. To sum up, we can say that diet, exercise, and other aspects of our daily interaction with the environment have the potential to change our brain health and mental function. We now know that individual nutrients influence cognition by performing on molecular systems or cellular processes that are vital for maintaining cognitive function. This raises the exciting possibility that dietary manipulations are a viable strategy for enhancing cognitive abilities and protecting the brain from damage, promoting repair and counteracting the consequences of aging. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos.